Let's move from trying to prevent neuropathy to how do we treat established neuropathy. The ASCO guidelines, when they looked at that, uh, there were a number of, there were actually six studies that had looked at those randomized trials. There was one recommendation that was for duloxetine. It's an antidepressant uh, medication, uh, and it seemed to help a little bit, but not all that much. There is another thing out there that looks quite promising, and that's something called scrambler therapy. That is a therapy that was developed uh, by a Professor Marineo from, from Rome, four patients with chronic pain. Neuropathy can be a chronic pain. Dr. Tom Smith actually did the first trial looking at patients with chemotherapy neuropathy and suggested that there was about a 50% reduction in neuropathy in these patients. Scrambler therapy is a electrocutaneous treatment put on nerves, it looks kind of like an EKG machine. It's done in the office. You put these scrambler electrodes on patients. You then turn the machine on. You dial it up as much as is tolerable for the patient. They get a buzzing sensation. If you get too much, it's uncomfortable. And if it works, and it doesn't work in everybody, and it doesn't work in always, and hasn't been proven yet to work, but looks very, very promising, when you do that, the pain goes away in a matter of a minute or so. The patient has this buzzing sensation. You then turn the machine off after a half hour treatment, and the buzzing goes away and the pain's still gone pain or tingling, and that lasts for a while. Sometimes that's 10 minutes, sometimes that's an hour, sometimes that's two hours, sometimes it's four hours or longer. You then repeat the, patient, the treatments daily for 10 days, and what happens is when it works, and again, nothing works for everybody, nothing works for always, but the next day, if it worked for an hour or two the first day, it may work for three or four hours, it then may work for six to eight hours, then may work overnight, and when you're done with the 10 treatments, the pain problems and the tinglings tend to stay away for weeks to months to years. Um, sometimes you need booster treatments for this thing. So that's a promising thing. There are randomized trials going on. Our group is participating in one. And Dr. Tom Smith has, has another randomized trial at uh, Johns Hopkins where they're looking at this in more detail. I don't think it's a strong placebo effect. I do not think it's a strong placebo effect. Other people, when we've tried placebos on patients with neuropathy, have not been able to get such effects. When thinking about giving chemotherapy to patients, assessing them for neuropathy, if established neuropathy is important, because that may weigh in on decisions. Again, we want the most benefit from the therapy, but also the least toxicity from the therapy. So balancing those things. Once you've started neurotoxic chemotherapy, potentially neurotoxic chemotherapy, then it is important in that setting to, to follow patients closely. 